welcome to another episode of the Linux Guy. Today, I'm going to explain how to use wine. Not how to drink it, how to use it. So, the first thing you need to know about wine is wine is not an emulator. Alright, well, that's what wine stands for. Wine is not an emulator. For some reason in the Linux world, they like stuff like that. Like, GNU stands for GNU is not Unix. Wine is not an emulator. Anyway, it's not an emulator. Wine is a compatibility layer to run Windows executable files in Linux. Now, what does that mean? It means I can run Windows programs in Linux. Sorta. Of. I say sorta of because not everything works and then some things work partially and other things don't. But it's a nice bridge for that one piece of software that you absolutely can't live without that's available on Windows but not on Linux you might be able to get it to work in here. It's also the backbone for Steam Proton, which I'm going to cover in another video, as well as Lutris being able to play all these Windows games as well. Both of them use Wine, but they use modified Wine, so you really should use those platforms to actually install the games if you're interested in gaming. But today I'm going to talk about using Vanilla Wine to install software. So one program I use from time to time is called Mesh Mixer and it's made by Autodesk and Autodesk as you can see does not have a Linux version of this software. It'd be nice if they did but they don't so my really only option for using it in Linux is to either run it in Windows or to try to run it in Wine. Well, let's download Windows 3.5 version here and you'll see it's a .exe file. Alright so we've got the file here what do we do with it? Well, we're really going to need to use the terminal to accomplish what we need to here, so let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And let's go into our downloads folder, and there it is. So, we need to install it. What do we do to do that? Well, let's do this. Wine Autodesk. And in a moment, you will see the installer wizard launch. All right, here we are. This is the setup, just like it would appear in Windows, sort of. Remember again, I said there's a bunch of sort ofs and kind ofs going on here. You see that this is rendered really strangely. It's not like it looks in Windows 10. It looks more like Windows 98. Well, this is something that you're just going to have to get used to with Wine, but this program should work pretty well. It's one of many programs that do run well, but as you can see, there are some graphical limitations. So let's accept and install it. And it mostly looks like you're installing it in Windows. Alright, our software is installed, so we'll click Done, and you see that this is now finished, and we have our blinking light again. So we can close our terminal window now, we don't need it anymore, and we can also delete this, we don't need this anymore either. Finally, you'll see there's some stuff on the desktop here. Well, I don't really like this stuff being on the desktop, so I'm going to delete those two. They're just desktop shortcuts, you don't need them. However, Let's go where all of our software is, and you will see now we have Mesh Mixer. It's a CAD program, so let's throw it in our CAD folder and open it up. And in typical Autodesk fashion, they want you to sign your life away. This is why I like Linux and the free software. I don't have to do any of this stuff. I'm not going to approve data usage, but I'll accept the license. And here we are in Autodesk Mesh Mixer. From here, we can import STLs or do whatever you want to do with. Mesh Mixer, you can make stuff. You can do sculpting in this program too, I believe. And it's more or less like it is in Windows. Some of the menus might look a little bit strange because the fonts aren't quite right. and There's some dependencies that it uses that might not be available, so it looks a little funny. But the functionality is all here. And this is how you install Windows programs in Linux using Wine. The process for all of them is more or less the same, however, there's a program you may need called Wine Tricks, and this program lets you install some of the dependencies that you might need to run your software that may or may not be available right away. Wine Tricks is definitely something to look at if your program is kind of working but some things don't seem to function, or maybe it crashes at start but it does seem to be loading. Things like this you can usually resolve with Wine Tricks. If you try to run your program after you installed it and nothing happens, you might just not be able to run that program. One last thing I want to draw your attention to is this website called winehq.org. This is a database of a lot of software and it explains how well the software works in Linux. 
So you can simply search for the piece of software you want to run and it will give you a rating between garbage and platinum. And platinum obviously runs the best, garbage means it's just completely terrible. And this is really useful in helping you decide, am I going to be able to play this game? Am I going to be able to install this program? You'll find that a lot of them do work and a lot of them don't. But this is a good place to start so you don't waste your time if you're really unsure about what's going to happen. As always, thank you for watching The Linux Guy. Please find us on Library, send us a tip if you feel so inclined, and we'll see you in the next one.